Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, guys, good evening, welcome. Good evening. Welcome, guys, how's it going? Okay, Juan Carlos, welcome, Claudia, welcome, Claudia, Jacqueline, Rebecca, hello, 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 Marco Antonio, Carlita, Avila. Good, evening. good evening, welcome, okay, perfect, so we're going to start with our session for today's lesson, and so just let me share in a moment. We're going to be uh, discussing about our new topic for today. Okay, perfect. Okay, let me see. Okay, good. Let me know if you can see that. Can you see the um, platform, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we're going to have a short review on conditionals and later we continue with our new topic, okay? Let's see, let's start with this. So let me know if you can see that and if you can listen to that as well. Hello. Teacher. Hello. I'm oh. driving my house. I oh. will be listening. Okay, Juan Carlos, got it. Good, got it. To write your consequence using the future. Will, may, Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. Okay, so we have checked the first part of the video, which is the definition and um, some examples using um, two clauses. Uh, remember, as we were talking yesterday, we talked about a possible situation in the simple plus the simple present, and there's a consequence, right? When we talk about conditional sentences, um, the consequence will be in the future tense, right? Using will, or you can also use uh, models of probability like may or might. So what is a modal? A modal is a, it's a word that help us to show probability in this case. May it has 40% um, of probability. Mm, okay, no, sorry, it was the other way around. 70% of probability might has a 40% of probability and we also have, let me see, um, okay, 
Well, just these two. I think we're just checking these two. So if you can notice, we need an if clause, the ones that start with if, if you get a high paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot of free time. If you have a lot of more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. So let's continue. Time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure, if clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present, main clause, Subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. Follow me in the structure. Okay, so this is the structure that we're going to follow. For example, if I, um, let me see, if I study hard, okay, so what is going to happen? So we need a second clause. If I study hard, I... will pass my uh, test, okay? So I'll pass my English test. Another example, if you, if you work hard, you will buy a new car, okay? So now let's try to use um, this conditional with a model. If, let's say, if we Okay, so what is going to happen if we go to the party? If we go to the party we Look at this, we may be tired in the morning. Another example, if they drink a lot, so what is going to happen if they drink a lot? They might be, uh, so what do you think about it? They might be. Any idea? So if they drink a lot, they might be. Drunk. Drunk, yeah. <laughs> okay. They might be drunk. So the difference between this may and might is the percentage of probability. So may, 70%, might, 40%. Okay, so let, let's continue, guys, with some more. Uh, well, let's finish the video. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, learned. don't forget some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children,
Don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. And don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. Okay, cool. So I'm going to show to you um, the structures back again so you can check how to use this uh, first conditional. Remember, uh, we were talking about um, the structure. So we need uh, if plus, plus a simple, um, well, plus a consequence, right? For a consequent clause, a main clause. If you study English, so what is going to happen if you study English? And besides uh, using will, you can also use might or you can also use may. Uh, to show probability in the future or the present. So if you study English, what is going to happen if you study English, guys? Give me some ideas. So you can type your answers through the chat, okay? Yeah. So what do you think, guys? If you study English, let me see, let me ask somebody. Uh, Carlos, what do you think, Carlos Alberto? If you study English, what's going to happen? Now, activate your microphone, it's off. I'm going to give you one example and then you uh, try to give me one. If you study English, you will get better job. If you study English, you will travel to, uh, okay, to another country. So try to give me some examples, guys. If you study English, you have more money okay yeah you may you might if you study english you okay you talk with uh let's say you may learn me Okay, you learned how to speak. Maybe how to speak with foreign people, okay? With native speakers, yes? So think about one example. Oh, okay, Claudia. You can find work as a translator. Oh, yes, you can. Yeah, indeed. So there are a lot of things you can do if you learn another language, right? If you learn English, OK. A job as a translator. Okay. So you, you study learn... English. Uh huh. You may understand all the signs in English. Mm, okay. All. All signs? the signs. Okay. Sign. On English or in English? I don't know. English. In English. In English. In English. Okay. So you may understand all signs in English. English. Oh, okay. English. Okay, second example. If you lose your job, what is going to happen if you lose your job? You're gonna you're gonna get a job with English, right? 
<laughs> if you lose your job, you won't have money. You will? Will not have money. Okay, you will not have money. Okay. So what else could happen if you lose your job? Okay, you will not, you won't. Okay, if you, you lose your job, you won't have to wake up early, for example. See, some more examples. Uh, Jacqueline, if you exercise, like you will have an excellent house. You will have to find another job. Uh-huh, yeah. If you lose your job, you, okay, you might have to look for another job, another job. So you might, you will have to find another job. Okay, so what else is going to happen if you lose your job? Let me see. Uh, let me ask somebody else. How about you, um, Esmeralda? What do you think, Esmeralda? Isabo, Irma, Marco. Marco, what do you think? If you lose your job. You will not have food. Mm -hmm. You will have food. Okay. Okay, so let's move into the next one. If you have children, <laughs> so that's an awesome idea. If you have children, you, let me see, let me ask somebody that haven't participated yet. Ruth. You will get. Ah, okay. You will get. You will get to work hard, harder. Ah, okay. You will have to work harder. harder. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you will have to work harder. Okay, so if you have children, what else? What else? You will don't have, not have free time. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, that's, I don't know, is, is that bad for you or not? If you have children, you will have time. Time for what do you say? Can you repeat it? You will have time? Free time. Oh, okay. You have free time. What else? What else? What else? Ruth, anybody else? If you have children. So talk to me about the positive uh, idea. So having babies. Raul, what do you think? Marco, Carlita, what do you think? If you have children, you will have more responsibilities. Ah, okay. So you will have more responsibilities. Do you like children? Guys? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay, so now let's try to create one uh, using an adverb, a uh, model. If you have children, you might. So complement that. If you have children, you might, or you, you may. Might, you might spend your check okay. this month. Remember, they show a percentage of probability. You might uh, spend uh, all your check, okay, with uh, them, okay. Uh, you may, so what do you think? If you have children, you may. You may go play. You may play. Or you may go, okay. You may go. Uh, you, may. you may go. Play soccer. With, uh, play. Okay, you may go sport. to play soccer. Okay, so you may go to play soccer. Yes, indeed. Yeah, they like to play a lot. 
Okay, nice. Um, so now we're gonna have a discussion. Let me see. Just let me open that. I need to look for that. Okay, so maybe it's here. I'm gonna send you the examples through the chat. Let me see what's going on. It's too long press try sending amongst the share at times. Okay, maybe later. Okay, so now we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have a chat on on it. Look at this. So I have some questions, guys. Can you see the questions? First conditional questions. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So question number one. If it rains tomorrow, what will you do, guys? So what is the consequence? If it rains tomorrow, what will you do? If it rains tomorrow... I will use my umbrella. I will use my umbrella. Okay. Okay, question two. What will you do if you get lost? Let me see, um, Carlos, what will you do if you get lost? Carlos, Carlos, activate your microphone. Carlos Alberto, Carlos Alberto, hello. Hello, hello, Carlos Alberto Martinez. What will you do if you get lost? If I get lost, I will talk with, uh, I'll call my mom, for example. I'll talk with a friend. I'll ask for a uh, Uber, for example. I'll look for a police officer. So what will you do if you get lost? Guys, anybody? Claudia, Esmeralda, Irma? So what will you do if you get lost? If I get lost, I'll, I'll. You can participate, you can activate your microphones. So don't worry. I will use my, my GPS. Okay, I'll use my GPS. I think that's uppercase GPS. Okay, question three. If you arrive late to work, will you be fired? What do you think? If you arrive late to work, will you be fired? What is the meaning for fire? Fire, what is that? Fire. Claudia, what do you think? Okay. Okay, so what do you think? If you are right late to work, will you be fired or not? Maybe if you arrive late to work, many, many. Hmm? Many occasions. Hmm? Oh, okay. Okay, so many occasions, several times. Um, okay, so if I arrive late to work several times, I will lose my job. Okay, good. Uh, question four. Would you be upset if you miss the movie tonight? Are you going to watch a movie tonight, guys? Irma, Isabo, Elizabeth? Yes. 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 Yes
Are you going to watch a movie tonight? Or a series? Hello, hello, Irma, Isabel. Hello, hello, ladies. Are you there? Chicas, están por ahí? So what will you do? Will you be upset if you miss the movie tonight? Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Irma. Ah, okay, Isabo. Okay, teacher. Um, if I uh, upset. Mm, okay, will you be upset if you miss the movie tonight? If I miss the movie tonight, I will be. So I how will you be watch K drama? Mm, okay. So look at this. Si yo me pierdo la película esta noche, ¿cómo me voy a sentir? Estaré. Uh, I will be sad. Sad. Okay. Good. So you did. You did it. Very good. Okay. Number question five. If you want to leave, where will you go? If you want to leave, where will you go? Si te quieres marchar, ¿a dónde irás? If I want to leave, I'll go. Okay. Where will you go? To see. the park. To the park. Okay. To the park. Okay. Good. Uh, the so nice. To the beach. Okay. To the beach. And let me see. Next question. Where will you, um, yeah. Where will you go eat if you get hungry? If I get hungry, I will eat. So where will you eat? If I get hungry, si me da hambre, ¿a dónde voy a comer? So if I get hungry, I I'm will go to a stay house restaurant. Okay, in a stay house restaurant. Any name? So what could be the name? If I get hungry, I will eat. In a state house restaurant. Do you have any favorite restaurant? No? Yes? Eat, eat at hamburger. I'll eat hamburgers. Hamburgers. Uh, where? Where? Hamburgers or seafood. Or seafood. Okay. Uh, and... Um, Wendy's, Burger Kings. Burger King. Okay, and Burger Kings. Okay, cool. I love hamburgers too. Okay, next question. If you're available next weekend, will you go to the, let me see. If you're available next weekend, will you go to the mall with me? <laughs> if I'm... Available next weekend. So will you go to the mall with me or not? Of course, I just. I will like. I will like. Oh, I will. I will go to. I will, I will like. go with. I will like. I will ah, okay. So I will. Remember, if you want to show preference, I would. Okay, my move study. I will like. So, but normally we use a word, right? So, I would like. I will go with you. Okay, of course. Let me see. Next question. What will you do if you lost your keys? If I. Sure. Uh huh. In anterior, este. Yo conozco un lugar que se llama Mono Loco. ¿Se pondría Monkey Crazy o el nombre Mono Loco? Así como Ah, the place. Pone... Mono Loco. Ajá, el lugar. Mono, Mono Loco. Loco. Yeah, the same. Ah, okay. Well, if you want to Gracias. clarify something, but the name is, is that one, Mono Loco. What you say, the crazy monkey? Mon monkey, I mean. <laughs> 
<laughs> you can do it. You can do it. There's not a problem. Um, meanwhile, you don't modify the meaning of that. A veces se hace. Mientras no modifique nada de, de, de su nombre. Aunque um, siempre usan nombres propios, mantenemos el mismo nombre. Pero se puede hacer una traducción eh, equi eh, equivalente al español. A veces son bastante parecidas. Entonces no, no hay problema con el significado. Pero si ya cambia ese significado, sí, uh, sería incluso pues, no válido. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see. If I lose my keys. So what do you do if you lose your keys? If I lose my keys. May I, I will have to replace with a copy. I will have to. Replace. Oh, okay. So I'll have to get a copy. Okay, let me see. Uh, question nine. If the show gets cancelled, what should we do? If the show gets cancelled, what should we do? I go to the DC. Mm -hmm. I will go to the DC. I'll go to the beach. Okay, so we'll go to the beach. Um, okay, the next one. Will she mind if I borrow her shoes? Teacher. Yes. En la anterior no sería el pronombre we. Oh, yeah. If we, let me see. If the show gets canceled, what should we do? Ah, okay. No, in this case, if the show gets canceled, so we're talking about the show, I'll go to the beach. No, that's okay. That's okay. Because we're talking about the, the show. If, mm -hmm, because uh, the situation, if, if the show gets canceled, so what will you but do? Say, mm -hmm. But say, what should we do? Yellow. You can also use a model. I should go to the beach. So you can also use that. I'll go to the beach or I should go to the beach. It's like the same when we were using models. Uh, um, no, pero we... dice que deberíamos hacer nosotros. Ah, your nombre es we. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. So I was thinking about this. Uh, yeah, indeed. Yeah, we should go to the beach. We will go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Good. Okay. Uh, the next one. Thanks a lot. Um, if the show. Oh, okay. Will she mind if I borrow her shoes? What do you think? I will surprise her. If I, okay, I will surprise her. If I borrow her shoes. Okay, I will surprise her. Or you can say, she, she, she won't mind. Mm -hmm. She won't mind if I borrow her shoes. No le importaría, she won't mind. She wouldn't mind. Okay, let's see. How about, let me see, 11. If we're out of oranges, what will you eat? If we are out of oranges, what will you eat? Jacqueline, what will you eat if you're out of oranges? So what will you eat? What will you eat? Yes, uh, Jacqueline? Tell us, Jacqueline. If I'm out of oranges, I'll eat. Pupusas, maybe. Renee? I will prepare uh, tacos. 
I'll eat tacos, okay? I'll cook tacos, paper tacos, okay? Nice, so uh, let me see, we have another one. Raul, Raul, help us with the next one, Raul. It's um 12. Will your parents be surprised if you come home for the holidays? My parents will be surprised if I come home for holidays. So you can also invert that sentences. Let me see. Uh, how about the next one? Maybe Ruth, can you help us with the next one? If we run out of gas, what? who will you call? Who will you call? If you run out of uh, gas. So anybody, who will you call? Who will you call if you run out of uh, gas? Uh, my friend. Your friend, okay. Let me see. Um, Rene, Rene, help us with this one. If you okay, where can I study if the library is closed? If the library is closed, where can I study? So can you mention a place, guys? Rene? Rene Giovanni Martinez. Uh, where can I study if the library is closed? Uh, um, I can study, study, I can study computing. Mm, okay, where? The question says where. Where can I study if the library is closed? It's question 14. For At home? Uh-huh. If the library is closed, I can study at home. Uh -huh. So where can you study? At home. At home. At home. Mm -hmm. at home. So if the library is closed, I can study at home. Let me see. Um, Saul, help us with the next one. It's 15. If you fail your exam, what will you do? I study for the next exam and to try to get better not mm -hmm. for the next one and get a better a grade okay great or score grade or score score puntaje más alto or great okay let's see um we also have another one, uh, 16. Who will teach the class if our professor gets six? So, so what do you think? <laughs> we we'll we uh -huh. We take vacation, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I know you like that. <laughs> If our professor uh, gets sick, uh, we will have a day off. Okay, the earlier day. Okay, so you have a day off. Um, let me see. Uh, 17, if you don't answer the phone, should I come over? Should I come over? Look at this. I need you to notice something where uh, there are some modal verbs. Uh, noten ahí algo, cuando tenemos ahí algunos modales, por ejemplo, con el primer condicional, los, mod los modales también se pueden utilizar con los condicionales. Entonces, eh, teníamos este caso, donde está solo el we. If the show gets canceled, we should go to the beach or we will go to the beach. Entonces, podemos utilizar modales también para expresar la, el resultado. If, um, let me see, if the library is closed, si la biblioteca está cerrada, puedo estudiar en casa, I can't study at home. 
Uh, we have another one. Let me see. Okay, so 17. If you don't answer the phone, should I come over? Si no contestas el teléfono, debería venir, debería llegar. Okay, so what do you think? Oh, we're... If you don't answer the phone. We call it. We call. Mm. Oh, re recall, no se puede decir. Recall. No, call. You oh, say call. Okay. I'll call you, for example, I'll call you. I'll call you, you can also say, you can also use a model, I like should in that case, I can call you or I should call you. I should call you. Okay, si no contestas el teléfono, te podría llamar o te llamaré la primera. La segunda, te puedo, I can call you, te puedo llamar o debería llamarte. So I should call you. Let me see. Um, okay, so what will you do if the party is uh, canceled? So what will you do if the party is canceled? If the party is canceled. The party is canceled. Uh, uh -huh. Guys, uh, Isao and Carlos. We will go to the place to dine there. Okay. So we'll go to another place. Uh, we will have dinner. Okay. Nice. And let me see. We have two more. If I can come to your party, will you be upset? Has it happened to you? Ya les ha pasado. So has it happened to you? If I can come to your party, will you be upset? Mm -hmm. If I can come to your party, will you be upset? I will be insane. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Si no puedo venir a tu fiesta, estarías them to... Are you going to be upset? Will you be upset? I will get mad. Mm -hmm. You will. Okay. So this is important. Vean ahí la, la pregunta. ¿Qué pasaría si no puedo venir a la fiesta? Si no puedo venir a la fiesta, ¿te molestarías? Vamos aquí la oración. Si no puedo venir a tu fiesta, tú. You will. And you will understand the um, reason. Uh, you will understand the reason why i can come okay okay good so that was a good um uh, answer uh what can we do if the mall is closed so what can we do if the mall is closed closed if the mall is closed we can we can go Big store or something. We can go to another mall. <laughs> a market, the market. Okay, we can go to the market. Okay, yeah, could be to the market. How was the practice? Good, difficult. Yeah, okay. So let me take a screenshot and gonna send it to you so you can have some examples. Okay, nice. Um,
Okay, so give me a couple of seconds while I open something else that we have to share for today's lesson. And um, we continue. Let's see, we also have a reading for today's lesson. Okay. Okay, so look at this. Uh, in this class, you'll read an article about falling in love. As you, re as you read, you develop skills in reading for specific information. So the reading is about love. Are you in love? So this is the question. Okay, so I'm going to show the question and later we're going to start reading. Okay. After what you have read, can you tell us which one is more difficult for you? Falling in love or staying in love? Share your opinion on our discussion box. Okay, so, so these are the two questions that we're gonna be discussing after the reading, falling in love or staying in love. So which is more uh, difficult? Let's see, so let me open that. Here we have it. Um, okay, so can you see the reading? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what, are you in love, guys? Question, are you in love, by the way? Saul, Rene, Carlos, are you in love? Claudia, you can type your answers through the chat. Are you in love? Irma, Isabel, Jacqueline, Juan Carlos, uh, Juan Carlos Maravilla, Carlita, Raul, Ruth, Saul. Are you in love, guys? Let's see, Rene. I don't know what that is, teacher. <laughs> okay, are you in love, guys? Bad choice, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, not anymore. <laughs> yes, Jacqueline says yes. Okay, that's good. So we have different stories, but that's good. So we're going to learn if we're in love or not. Yes, it's Irma. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's have a reading about it. So what is the difference between having a crush on someone and someone and falling in love and falling in love, right? So let me uh, let me see. We're gonna start the reading. I'm gonna need a volunteer for the first paragraph. Renee, do you want to start? You think you're falling in love? Here, paragraph one. Uh, you think you're falling in love. You really... Esa Attra palabra no me lo puedo. Attracted. Attracted. You really attracted to a certain... Certain. Certain. You're really attracted to a certain... A certain. Certain person. But it has happened before, and it was just a crush. How can you tell if it's real, real, real this time, real mm -hmm. this time? It was our readers. Readers said. Said okay. Said. said. Okay, nice, interesting. So you think you're falling in love. You're really attracted to a certain, certain, sometimes certain, certain person, but you, but this has happened before and it was just a crush. Okay, so nothing, right? How can you tell if it's, re if it's real this time? Here's what the reader said. So guys, do you have a crush? <laughs> do you have a crush? So don't be afraid. I won't tell anybody. Do you have a crush? Juan Carlos, Carlita, Raul, Rene, Ruth, Saul, Jacqueline. Do you have a crush? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. But you don't know. So we're going to give you some tips, Saul. Let's see. <laughs> um, Carlos? Let me see the chat. Maybe. Okay. Yes. That's Jacqueline and Ruth. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's so funny. Yes, Jungkook is Korean, it's ours. 
<laughs> okay, yeah. Got it. I think we all have some crushes. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna need somebody to read it. Um maybe let me see. Saul, help us with that with this paragraph. If you're falling in love, paragraph number one here. If you're falling in love, you you'll find yourself talking to telephony the person for no reason. You might pretend there's a reason, but often there, there's not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so have you done that before, guys? So have you, you'll find yourself talking to or telephoning the person for no reason? So, hey, I just told you to say, I love you. Or, <laughs> um, I don't know, there's a TikTok. So did you go for the tortillas? <laughs> Okay, did you eat? Uh -huh. So have you done that before? Ya lo han hecho? So uh, have you done this? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Now that's good. You have to be honest with your heart. Let's see. Second paragraph. Help us. Second paragraph. Um, Maybe, let me see. Irma, Irma, help us with the second paragraph. Chosen yourself, bright. Bringing, bringing this, bringing this person into every conversation. When I was in Mexico, a friend began. You interrupt with my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. Okay, interesting. So, well, I don't know if it has happened to you. I think so. But you'll find yourself bringing this person into every conversation. You're talking about work and the other person is talking about his or her crush, right? So when I was in Mexico, a friend begins, you interrupt with, my boyfriend made a great Mexican dinner last week. So you're talking about something totally different and they start talking about uh, his or her crush, right? Or their crush. Okay, let's see. Um, Maybe Ruth, can you help us with the next paragraph, Ruth? Uh, this is paragraph. Yes, teacher. Um, you meet, how do you pronounce it? Suddenly. 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 Let me see. Okay, so you okay. might suddenly. Ahí háganle zoom ahí porque se me estaba moviendo mucho. Sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Please. You Please. might suddenly be inter interested in things you use to avoid. When a woman asks me to help her all about football, I know she is falling in love. Say a TV sport announcer. Announcer. Okay. Yes. So has it happened to you that you don't like some things, but since the other person likes sports, like, um, for example, likes horror movies or comedy movies, but you're into drama, you're into, let's say, action movies. So you start, uh, let's say, enjoy, uh, well, you start kind of... Uh, Let's see, watching different things or talking about different things. So you might suddenly be interested in things you used to avoid. So what's the meaning of avoid? Avoid? What's the meaning, guys? Evitar. Evitar. Mm -hmm. So you, you're interested in things you avoided. When a woman asks, I mean, to tell her all about football, I know she's falling in love. Imagine, said a TV sports announcer. <laughs> okay, I don't really think so, but <laughs> what do you think? Is it true? False. Is it true or false? So you can type your answer. So what do you think? True or false? <clears throat> Maybe, I don't know. Uh, well, it could be, it could be. Okay, let me see. Next paragraph. Um, Carlita. Carlita Vigail Aguilar. Next paragraph. It's true, says Irma. Okay, so here. Okay. 
Uh, the okay, so you fall, fallen. Falling in love. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So you fallen in love, but falling in love is one thing, and staying in love is another. How can you tell a time passes passes that passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him on her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. Okay, nice. So that was interesting. So tell me, guys, um, what do you think about staying in love? So, uh, well, by the way, nice. Uh, I like how you read. Um, so, but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another. How can you tell as time passes that you're still in love? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. You might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. You might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more and more important in your life. Okay, so interesting. Let's see. Um... Who can help us now? Volunteer who wants to read the last paragraph? Okay. Um, Isabo, Isabo, go ahead. You find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things about yourself. But now you can be to uh, total, come, teacher, totally. How do you say? totally, totally. honest. You can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay, nice. Okay, so now, um, let's see. Um, what do you think? Are you falling in love? Okay, are you fall? Uh, are you falling in love or are you staying in love? today so what can you tell us so i so, don't understand the difference mm, okay so we can maybe we can read it again look at this here sec uh this paragraph this um this paragraph okay so you have fallen in love but falling in love is one thing and staying in love is another so how can you tell as time passes that you're still in love Okay, so they are talking about time. So how do you know if you are still in love with that person that you, well, that, that you like, that you, maybe that you pretend that you like some things and, and maybe that's just because you're falling in love. But look I, at this. So how I can you tell that? Yes? I think falling in stay, love. Staying in love is, you, is just when you have, I think, one year or two years mm -hmm. in, in in the relationship and are in and are you in love is when you used to get like and you are falling in love in falling falling in love you get you got in love and other person other <laughs> So you so, start like falling in love yes. when you do things like sending some texts, um, talking with that person a lot. Jacqueline has a, an opinion. Jacqueline? You think Jacqueline, do you, do you, do you want to participate, Jacqueline? <clears throat> I thought you, you were um, talking. Okay, so let's continue the reading. But Saul is uh, kind of uh, right, right? If you stay in love, your relationship will change. So you might not talk as much about the person you are in love with. So you might not call him or her so often, but this person will nevertheless become more, become more and more important in your life. So, okay, Jacqueline. <clears throat> So guys, what do you think? What is the difference between falling in love and staying in love? 
So you can find this here. If you stay in love, your relationship will change. So probably um, when you stay in love, I didn't even know that, but um, maybe you have passed the first stage in your relationship. And now you're in, a, let's say in a second stage. So we're now in the present, you don't have to talk with that person a lot um, in order to make him or, or her feel that you love them or, yeah, you know. So maybe you both know, I guess. <laughs> maybe you both know about it and you're honest with that person. So at the beginning of our relationship, well, we sometimes don't, don't say some things because we're like kind of, uh, let's say, um, shy. But when you stay in love, you know that person and you feel you feel like that you can be honest with that person. So that's what the reading says. <laughs> I'm not an expert in this. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the reading says that. So you'll find that you can be yourself with this person. When you first fell in love, you were probably afraid to admit certain things. So you can find that information here. But when you know that person after some years, um, so now you, you're not afraid anymore. So you stay in love. So you know that you love that person. You know that you care about that person, but you don't have to be telling him or her every day that you love him or her, right? So you just love them. And you know that this person has become important part of your life, right? Mm -hmm. And look at this uh, about yourself. Uh, but now you can be totally honest. Okay, so now you're honest. So at the beginning, you let's say you may not uh, say with all things about you. And now this person knows a lot about you and you can be open to talk with that person. So you can trust him or her to accept you just as you are. Falling in love is great. Staying in love is even better. Okay, so what do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jacqueline. <clears throat> yeah, but the meaning is uh, you stay in love. Yeah. So, but there, here are some features of that. Enamorarse, stay in love. Let's continue doing that, right? So you continue doing doing that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, I think so. Uh -huh, la diferencia, maybe it's the things that you do. Maybe you don't need to show a lot of things in order to, well, maybe... I don't know, maybe that's another stage in a relationship because it says that falling in love is great, staying in love is even better. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if we have another opinion. Jacqueline, uh, Jacqueline, is that uh, clear for you? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, if I'm, uh, <laughs> some, some of you will ask, am I in love or am I staying in love? Am I staying in love? <laughs> Espero que no les haya causado problemas ese reading. ¿En qué etapa están? <laughs> Saúl, how is it? Good. Or you have a crush. <laughs> Good teacher. You have a crush. Okay. Okay, great. Well, you know, it's interesting. It's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Um, any questions so far? Let me know if you have a question. Okay, cool. Okay, Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. If you're here, right. stay present. Okay, thanks. Claudia María García Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Claudia. Esmeralda Isabel Martínez Orellana. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present, teacher. Thanks. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present, teacher. 
Thanks, Isao. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Okay. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. ¿Está ahí en el chat? En el chat. Ah, sí, Jacqueline, cierto, Jacqueline. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Juan Carlos Cubilla Bonilla. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. Present teacher. Thanks. Carla Vigail Aguilar Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks, Carla. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizábal. Marco. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present. Thanks, Raúl. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Thanks. Ruth María Elosa Maya de Guardado. Here, teacher. Thanks, Ruth. Saúl, uh, Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present, teacher. Thanks. And Stephanie Jamilet Pérez Romero. Okay. Well, that's all for today's class, guys. So we'll see you in our next class. So it's going to be tomorrow at the same time, 9 p.m., guys. So if you have a question, you can stay. Bye-bye, guys. See you in our next class. Be good night. Good night. Bye. See you good night. Bye. See you Bye. tomorrow. Bye -bye. See, you. see you tomorrow. Saul, do you have questions, Saul? May you help me um a little bit in the platform with the with the exercise five point one, I think. Five we got to we we have to order we have to uh match. Okay, so let me see, 5.5. So you're about to finish. Yeah, I don't I don't know how, how, how many number, how many, Five point? how many exercise, 5.1. 5 5.1. 5 so this is, oh, but this is a, a, a video. Let me see. No, I think it's fine point two. So uh, it's. Uh, okay, so let, let me check. Fine point two. So you're fine point one and two. Okay, so we don't have anything here. Maybe this one. Fine point four, I guess. Yeah, that one. That, that. Fine, five, five point four. Five point four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this case, what you have to do is to read the following phrases. Yeah. And rearrange and use what is in brackets in order to make statements. Remember the ing form of the verb. Follow the example. I enjoy. Um. Ah. Okay. So I enjoy spending time with my friends. So what you have to do here is to modify check. the verb. Yeah, check that the phrase is. Uh, uh -huh. The verb you have to use the gerund. I enjoy spending, spend, spending, and then spending. you add the, the rest of the sentence. I enjoy spending. Uh, time for with example, the teacher, uh -huh. in the number one, I I go to the Google and investigate this commute is commuting. I think in with ing commuting. Commuting. 
commuting by bus. By bus. Is that what you have? Yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't mix. Doesn't Look at this. Well, it's correct. It's correct. I, uh, uh -huh. I write, I, I, I probably, I, I, I can write it. Maybe down. there's something that you need to change. Yeah, um, but I write down like that. Check the spaces. If you have double spaces, this, you only have to have one space. Check the spaces if you have double space. Ve ahí si tiene doble espacio o si hay alguna letra. Y recuerda que también aquí al final yo le puse el punto. Ahí está el punto. Oh, está el punto. ok, ok, okay. The Ahí point. está el full stop. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Wait, en la otra, ¿cómo nos quedaría la otra? I'm not very good. I'm not very good at... at... Which is the verb? Foreign language is uh, rain, raining. Mm, that's no, not a no, verb. Learning. 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 Foreign language. Foreign. Foreign. Foreign language. Languages. Languages. Yeah. So let's check that one. Okay. So we got eight points. Okay. That's good. Number three. And what do you have for this one? Number three, I'm good. We're gonna be working on this exercise soon. I'm good at, which is the verb? Solving. Solving. Solving, yeah. Other problems. Other? People. Other, other problem people. Other people other problems. Other people's problem. Yes, you got it. Let me see. All right, so that's what you have to do, Saul. Okay, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're going to be checking this tense, this topic, I mean, tomorrow. Um, we continue with our lesson five. I need a job, and then we continue with Jaros and, and these responses. But I think okay. you got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I thanks a lot. Oh, we'll talk Thank tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So Bye-bye.